it is haul day. I have finally acquired enough stuff to make another video on um, haul. Another haul video. Last one was sort of like a half haul video, half explanation, half upgrading PCs, but this one is all lovely PC parts. So if you don't know what I do, I like to collect PC parts for fun, and um, generally I get a lot of good deals on parts of science. <laughs> so um, today we're going to go through all the parts that I've acquired recently for how much, yada yada yada. For how much I can remember, at least. <laughs> so, um, let's get right into it. We're gonna start with the boring stuff first, of course. And I will have, like, things on screen saying, Oh, this... This card has yada yada, yada yada yada. Like, clock and whatever. I mean, eventually I'll do a GPU introduction of it, but that'll be a long ways off, for, at least for this card. So, I got this GTS 250, and it's actually a bit of a rare, rare, rare variant, a little bit of a rare variant, because, oh, I can't remember why. I think it's because this is the, like, not super beefy newer version, because I think um, this has two, two or one gigs of GDDR2, I can't remember. But I know this is um, a harder variant to find, at least. At least to my knowledge. I could be entirely wrong. But I got this for $9. It was a steal, and I love it. And it's got this beautiful, beautiful metal shroud here. And I'm really loving it. I'm really loving the color aesthetic, too. I'm loving the blue on blue PCB and shroud. You know, nothing special. DVI, uh, VGA, and HDMI. Nothing really special. You know, yada, yada. Uh, moving on to another thing, I got, um, was waiting for two things, I literally just got them a couple, a uh, couple minutes ago, so, I got this i7, Ooh, can it focus, probably not, I got this i7-920 for five bucks, and normally, I guess right now, it wouldn't be an entirely big steal, because normally they go for 9 or $10, so it's half off its price. All these are with included shipping, by the way. I should mention that. But, like, it was a steal for me, as well as, like, usually they go for $10, which is pretty cool. So, getting into the more, and we'll get to this in a minute, more um, gritty, or more interesting stuff. More gritty. I have no script for this, so if I sound a little bit, like, here and there, that's why. I got this older... AMD Opteron for seven dollars. It wasn't like a steal or anything. It was like, eh, I sort of expect it. But I really love the black substrate, the black gray substrate. It's just so, it's just so out there. I love it. So I got that. I was like, eh, I'll put a bid in for it, see if I win, and I won. These two, these two are what I'm excited for. So this is a Ryzen 3 1200. And I got this for $25. $25 working. I was absolutely shocked that I got it for that much. And I am beyond happy I did. To make it even better, I have here a Ryzen 3 2200G that I got for $30. That's crazy to me. Like, typically... This goes for 50, the Ryzen 3 1200, on the used market at least, goes for 50, 40 dollars. Mostly they go for 50. The Ryzen 3 2200G, ah, from my memory, goes like 60, 70, sometimes I've seen them for 100, but like, you're not going to sell a Ryzen 3 2200G for 100. That's just not happening. So got all that, I'm going to now put these over here on the bed, because if those fall, I will be absolutely beyond upset. And now we're going to get into this. I am extremely excited to get into this thing. I got this, like, I can't believe I got something like this. Just off Mercari. So we're going to... I hadn't opened it. Okay, I really wrapped it too. Holy crap. 
Holy moly. Well, it's good to see that he took care in packaging what he was selling, which is nice. Not a lot of uh, sellers do. Eek. I gotta be a little careful about what's in here. Oh boy. Oh, that bodes well. There's a little poke in the top. Well, they did say untested. Whatever. Oh, it's up to that. So, if you can read on here. Ooh, I don't like that sound. Let me open this up real quick. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think I will be... Yep, I think a lot of these will have to be soldered. I think I might be sending this back. Um, but what this is, is a box of 44 Intel CPUs, varying, um... Varying, um, uh, models. Mostly 775. There are some 1366 in here, though. 54. So we're going to find the culprits of who is missing their capacitors on the bottom. Really quick. That guy is missing a capacitor. That one is not. That one is missing a capacitor. There's a lot of capacitors in here, too. I'm actually a little bit upset. I expected better. So there is a chance I will not be keeping this now. I thought it would be packaged better than this. And that was a concern of mine that maybe the capacitors would come off in shipping, depending on the way he, he or she or whoever had their capacitor missing on that one. Oh, geez. Yeah, that one's missing like five. That one's missing none. That one has like a dent in it. That's also missing a capacitor. Never mind. I'm not even seeing the 1366 uh, CPUs in here. I'm gonna pretty much probably complain to the seller and be like, hey, um,. I'm kind of a little angry because you didn't ship them properly. Well, crap. It's annoying because I do want to finish all the 775 processors. I just put that one down without looking underneath it, did I? It is missing a bunch of capacitors. There are capacitors falling off these. Capacitor off that one. The problem is if you rip the capacitors off, I really doubt these work. There's also thermal paste all over this. Actually, this was not packaged properly at all. I got this for 32 bucks, by the way. I should mention that. Wait, did that? Yeah, it did. Hmm. I really dislike it when people abuse their hardware like this. It really, really, really angers me. And I'm not even seeing, like, what the hell is this one? This one is like sanded down. Why? I. I've really got to be checking under these more because I'm not. I'm sort of just trying to go through and find the 1366 ones that I saw in the picture as well, unless that person lied. So it's going to look like nearly half or more of these CPUs are going to be just dead. And I'm probably going to demand just a refund and send them back. Yeah. 
Jeez. I'm actually like super angry about this too. That one's dead. Nearly all these are dead. That's basically the gist of it. Because of how they were packaged, nearly all these CPUs are going to be dead. Because I don't have a hot, hot air station. I don't have the means to fix these. That one's dead. How can you be so careless and think, ah, it'll arrive fine? The seller won't have a problem with it. I don't even see the 1366 that I saw in the picture, so that was a misrepresented, a misrepresentative picture as well. I'm actually really angry. The capacitor fell off right there. I think that one's fine, I would hope. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, 20, 21, 24. So over half of my CPUs are just automatically dead because of the way he shipped them. I was really, really excited to make this video, and I'm still going to release it and everything, but <clears throat> I'm really disappointed, like seriously disappointed. Well, let's look through the ones that I, I have right now. So we got Pentium 524. Jeez, this one's like really screwed up. It's a Xeon 3, 3050, I think. Xeon 3050. Eight, uh, Pentium 820, I already have two of those, so that would be sold anyways. A Pentium 4, it doesn't even say which Pentium 4 this one is, so I'd have to look up that. An ED8400, don't have that. Pentium 4 with another one that doesn't say what it is. Some of these, pen that's normal for Pentium 4s though, I will say that. That's not like his fault or anything. Another one that says nothing. Another Pentium 4. A 6320, don't have that. Another Pentium 4. And also, I don't even know if these would work. The problem is, is that these could also be so damaged, like the contact pads underneath. I didn't even check the contact pads. They could be scratched up completely from these CPUs. I should mention that right now. So literally all of these could be dead. This is a... The seller on D, but I, I can't tell. It's like a 352 or something like that. That's another Pentium 4. That's a Pentium 4 630. That's not an i7. That's a Pentium 4 605. Um, alright. An E4300. A 6300. Some of these I don't have. Uh, an E6750, I actually have that one, funnily enough. An Intel Pentium 4 930. Weaferdale's, what the heck? 3.3 gigahertz. I don't even know if this one would work. It's really screwed up. I don't know what that one is. <coughs> Silver on 420. 420! A Celeron D35 or 3, 356 and an E5400 Pentium. So no 1366, no 
eleven fifty, no nothing. Like he he had basically lied because in the pictures that were on his sellers thing, this is why I went for it as well because I saw a couple thirteen sixty six processors. I thought, oh, it's gonna be a bun a mishmash, and I'm okay with that. I was perfectly okay with that as long as he shipped them fine. Like how hard is it to just put some in bubble put them in bubble wrap each one? and then just put them in a bag. It's really not that hard, I'm sorry. But like, I'm, if I have to send them back, I'm sending them back, I'm not accepting this. Like, I have capacitors strewn across my table right now because they've just, like some, some of them have probably fallen off on, in the time I've been picking these up. I'm gonna end it here. I'll still include like the the GTS 250, the i7, the Ryzen's, all of the, all their specs. I won't be including the specs of all these. Um, it's very very likely I will be sending these back unless he just gives me a refund and is just like here keep them. But um, as it stands, this is how it is. Um, thank you for watching and hope you guys have a great day.